the big one, which Angela mentioned, and many of us have experienced um, privacy and security concerns. Um, first, uh, there's a little bit more detail on here. Um, <clears throat> some of the ways in which these are being addressed directly, I already mentioned um, the um, Health and Human Services Business Associate uh, contract agreement now includes cloud providers. And this is the list of what a cloud provider is responsible for uh, with regard to patient record. Essentially, they become a proxy for the healthcare organization. So the risk is transferred. So the technology then can be implemented in a cloud uh, fashion, whether it's public cloud or private cloud, with an assurance that that cloud provider is going to take responsibility for the same kind of regulatory and legal requirements that the organization itself has. This is a big step um, and really helps. Um, it has uh, facilitated the organizations to go ahead and um, uh, enroll in uh, cloud provider programs. It has also caused cloud providers to launch uh, HIPAA compliant solutions. Um, so the cloud providers are kind of meeting the organizations halfway with specialty solutions. In fact, you can see many uh, niche players who, who consider themselves to be specialists in uh, cloud solutions uh, for healthcare because they are HIPAA compliant. It also is causing some of the very large cloud providers to move into the market with specialty solutions. What's in it for the cloud provider? Well, as we know, cloud is a commodity game. It's been very much about lowest cost processing provided by cloud, which uh, lends itself to a little profitability. However, as a cloud provider, if you can add value by a specialty or custom offer, such as the added cost of managing the data in a HIPAA compliant fashion, they can actually charge a premium for the service and gain more revenue that way. So it's an attractive market for cloud providers as well as an attractive um, opportunity for the uh, organizations to move their uh, data into the cloud. 